this is the high desktop offers a top-notch hyperland experience for linux users Hide is built on the Hyperland window manager. In this video, I will show you how to set up Arch Linux with the Hide desktop. The thanks to the GitHub developer, the installation process is fully automated. Now let's start by installing Hide desktop environment on Arch Linux. First, make sure you have a fresh installation copy of Arch Linux with minimal desktop on your PC or laptop using the Arch install script. In my case, I have already installed the Arch Linux with minimal desktop along the site of Windows 11 on the same drive. This is a dual boot setup. I have made a separate video on how to install Arch Linux. I will leave a link to that video in the description. Now, let me go ahead and log into Arch using my credentials. Since I have installed a fresh copy of Arch Linux, I need to connect to the internet using the Wi Fi. I'm going to use the nmcli command to connect to my Wi Fi network. Then I will run a ping command to check the connection, and you can see that I'm receiving the packets. The first thing to do after installing Arch Linux is to update your system. Just go ahead and type this command to update your system. Now let's go ahead and increase the console font size. Type this command to install Terminus font package. Once it's installed, run this command to increase the console font size. It's recommended to install a few essential dependencies or packages using pacman. Now run this command to install git, wget, curl, and other required packages. Now it's time to set up hide desktop environment. You can visit the official website using this link to learn more about the setup. Next, type this command to clone the GitHub repository or run this command to clone the latest commit. Once cloned cd into hide directory and then into the scripts. Here you will see all the script files. Now find the installation script and run it. Now sit back and be patient while the script is running in the background. You may be prompted for your password a few times during installation. The script will automatically detect any NVIDIA GPU and install the NVIDIA DKMS drivers for your kernel. It will also modify your GRUB or SystemD boot configuration to enable NVIDIA DRM. Next, choose your GRUB theme. The installer will ask you to install Chaotic R. It's safe to use. Just go ahead, choose Yes to download some required packages. Then select your R helper and shell. After that, choose your preferred fonts. I went with GNU fonts and pick your SDDM theme. A bit later, you will prompt it to install Flatpak apps.
Once everything is done, reboot your system to apply all changes. Now you will see the SDDM login manager with a beautiful theme. Enter your password, then make sure to select the hyperlink from the session menu. After login, you might notice the waybar is missing at the top. Let's fix that. Now simply press super plus shift plus T to open the themes menu, then select the default theme and press enter. And boom, the waybar is back and ready to use. The first thing you should do after setting up hide desktop is to press super plus slash to bring up the key bindings menu. The super key is the Windows key on your keyboard. Now this will display a list of key bindings related to specific apps or shortcuts to open wallpapers, themes, working with Windows, workspaces, and much more. I recommend reading this list and memorizing some shortcuts. For example, to close any app window, press super plus Q. Now pressing super plus T will launch the terminal. Here you can see the Z shell environment. Now let's increase the font size in the Kitty terminal. In your home directory, there's a hidden folder called config, where all your hyperlink configuration files are stored. Now first navigate to the config directory using this command. Then open the Kitty configuration file and add font statement. Then set its value to 13. Save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus X, then press Y and enter. Then close terminal by pressing super plus Q and reopen it by pressing super plus D. We should now see the increased font size. Height also comes with Rofi. Now pressing super plus A brings up the Rofi app launcher. Here you can see all of your installed applications. You can search for any app you want, then simply select and press enter to open it. Now this is one of the best ways to launch apps without relying on the mouse. Now just use the shortcut to open the app launcher and quickly navigate to the application. You can also change the style of Rofi app launcher. Simply press super plus shift plus A to choose the style. Now let's change the theme by pressing this button. You can also use a keyboard shortcut super plus shift plus T to see a list of available themes. Now use the arrow keys to scroll through the options, then press enter to apply your chosen theme. Now each theme comes with its own set of wallpapers. To change the wallpaper, click this button or press super plus shift plus W to open a carousel style selector and pick your fancy wallpaper. Also, you can easily customize the waybar. To change its style or position, use the keyboard shortcut super plus alt plus up or down arrow keys. The waybar also includes system controls for connecting to Wi Fi, managing Bluetooth, and opening the power menu. The hide menu on the waybar lets you fine-tune your desktop appearance. 
Now simply right click on the hamburger icon to reveal more options. Now from here, you can control animations, wallpapers, themes, favor settings, and much more. Now let's change the animation style. Now you can open or close an app. You will see a different animation than usual. Additionally, the shaders menu allows you to tweak the color schemes for the Vaybar, Rofi app launcher, and applications. Now let's talk about the workspaces. You can use the workspace switcher on the Vaybar. Using this, you can simply switch between workspaces. You can also use a keyboard shortcut by pressing super plus a number from 0 to 9 to seamlessly switch between different workspaces. To edit the hyperlink configuration files, open terminal and navigate to the default key binding configuration file. Now let's add some custom key bindings for any application you want to use. Now in this example, we will add a shortcut to open the Chrome web browser. We will assign super plus G as the key binding. Now once you have added the new key binding, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O, then exit the editor with Ctrl plus X. Now pressing super plus G will instantly launch the Chrome browser. Overall, Arch Linux with Hide takes your Hyperland experience to a top-notch level. But thanks to its beautifully customized desktop, be sure to visit the GitHub page for more details about the Hide project. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.